This morning, I already did this. This is take two because when I just got done, I realized the microphone wasn't plugged in. All of them, my points, yeah. So, happy Friday again. And first shout out I wanna give is to MD Anderson. This building is uh, getting done very close to us and my husband has had some work in there in the, in the building and it's just gorgeous and we're gonna see it next month. There's a big opening. But those of you who probably recognize this logo and it's just psyched for what's gonna happen in that building. But also, my husband came home with this t-shirt for me and I'm like, oh, yeah, I like it. I like the t-shirt itself. So, that's it. This is one of my Friday favorites. Also, I like this red. I know. I know. I have to make a color comment. First on our list today, though, is the subject of inviting people over. If you're going to have this place that you love, and you probably have your family members, and you, but you have friends over, do you have neighbors over? And right as I was thinking of this this morning, literally, I can see out the window, a moving truck is coming in with new neighbors and I was just laughing to myself going so you're gonna talk about inviting people over huh Pam so uh, and what started me thinking of it is I talked about cleaning out our uh, storage unit a while back I do keep for my friends that say all the time like Pam you don't hold on to anything I do the power of words I do keep notes and stuff like that and just special things and cards my boys have made me and I do keep those and in it was this little tiny one. I almost threw it in the garbage. And I looked, I didn't even know who it was at first, but it was somebody who bought our house years ago up in Wisconsin. And she was thanking me for in introducing her to all these people and inviting her to the small Bible study that was, met at our church. And then like she, something about my husband inviting Chad or her husband to play softball. And she said, because of that, you know, we met a bunch of wonderful friends. And I'm like, Oh, you know what? I like to talk about experience too and not just buying stuff because the rest of my stuff is about stuff. And I just feel like in our houses, to make people feel good, to introduce people to people, it, it's just building relationships and that's also what our house can do. So I'm not being preachy. I was preachy on Monday, but I feel strongly about that and I happened to come across it this week. And yes, I went through that whole box. I, I just throwing a bunch of stuff away at the same time, but I'm like, wow, that's a lot of cards and stuff. My next thing is, and again, yeah, let's get superficial here for a second. A good pair of jeans. Do you own a good pair of jeans? The one I'm going to tell you about is a splurgy. I'm just going to tell you. Rag and bone. I love them. I bought them probably a year ago or so, and... Yes, I even paid for the holes in the knees. It's just something about the way they fit or feel. I don't know. But you know, girls, guys, you know when a good je when a pair of jeans feels good, you feel good. And these are my favorites. And I do wear them quite a bit. Maybe find a cheaper pair that you like and fits just as well. Everybody's kind of got their own thing. Those are my favorites. The next thing on my list is... I was opening a bottle of wine this week, probably the one I talked about last week. I like that stuff. Um, it's this opener I got, which is funny because my husband likes the old school kind, like just the stick kind that you you know pull out. And I can't even do that kind. But this one, William Sonoma, I will think of the name of it and put it on my wall. It's heavy and you can actually do it yourself. And it was like $39, but it, I really like this thing. The next thing is, I had to go into Apple for something this week, and I've shown you before that I got a red Apple case, which I really like. I wear it all the time. You know, I like the color red, and I wear a lot of black and white, so I like that little pop of color. But when I was there, you know what? I just want one more outfit for my phone, and take a guess, a million dollars, what color I chose. I'll give you a minute. If you said this, you are correct. I know. I can't help it. I love a white phone with a white case. They do get a little dirty over time. So I'm loving this because, because that is why. The other thing is I wear all the time, this is a jewelry thing actually, I wear a Kenneth Cole gold hoop. 
And so a lot of these are not about home, but it's Friday favorites and they're mine. So I get to say, right? So gold hoop, I always wear, but I like because they're flat on the sides. So when my hair is pulled back, I usually wear my hair pulled back that you can see them differently from the side. And the gold doesn't wear off. Go Kenneth Cole. There's some jewelry lines and just costume jewelry like this. There's some jewelry lines that the gold stays on better because I basically wear fake diamonds and these. And that's about it. So I don't have a lot of jewelry when it comes to that. But I do like these and the size of these. So I went in and went, Pam, treat yourself to a silver pair. So I splurged $26 on the silver pair. See, it was just yesterday. I haven't even bought them. I haven't even worn them yet. But, um, like you like. Go Kenneth Cole. And the last thing, ladies and gentlemen, is... It's by CoverGirl. It is a beauty product. By the way, I was going to share that his beauty product, his beauty product this week is, uh, cause I gave him a bath this morning. I rarely, rarely do that. So he is all fresh and beautiful. And I do use Johnson and Johnson on him. The purple one with lavender smell. It's like if I had children at home still, I would use that kind of stuff for like baby bath stuff. So he smells fabulous. <laughs> um, is this a cover girl intensify me? And it is, I am not good at liquid liner, nor I really don't wear it, but every once in a while, if I'm getting all spiffy, I do like a little liquid liner, but not like Amy Winehouse type, you know, God rest her soul, dang, she has a great voice, but, but I'm saying when you put this like on top, this tip is like a calligraphy pen, it almost you know, it's like a paddle on one side and thin on the other. So I can actually do it. You would think with me with pens and colored pencils all the time, I could do this stuff. But you just have to go really. But yeah, mine is smoked amber. So that is my beauty product. The last thing I want to end on today is we are going to sell our table and chairs on our patio, on our deck. And it's black and um, gray, like gray tiles on the top. So... If you're interested and in the Jacksonville area, message me. Let me know if you're interested. It's the table and six chairs. And no, it's not the cushions because the cushions go with my other stuff that I'm keeping. So you have to get new cushions, which you can get at Home Depot and Lowe's or wherever. I got mine at Frontgate. I've talked about those before. So let me know on that. Otherwise, have a fantastic Friday. And I should probably be walking out my front door and greeting a new neighbor and saying, hello, welcome. Welcome. I hope you one day will love where you live. So that is all for today.